Enough of the chat. We'll start now. One, two, one, two, three, four. You've got a little bar complex come over you today, haven't you? <laughs> they are good, yep. but I really do think that their real conductor, Bill Ashton, ought to come Quite back, right. don't you? Quite yes, right. I think so. Better. Because we have, in fact, the National Youth Jazz Orchestra with us, as you obviously heard just then. And they're with us for a very good reason, because they've had some music specially made for them, for the, what is it, Musicians' Union Workshop in Edinburgh, because they're starting a tour of Scotland next month. Yes, they're a busy lot, you know this. Uh, some of them come from Yorkshire, others from Lincolnshire. There are three 15-year-olds amongst them, and obviously they still go to school, so they can only work in the evenings, weekends, and holiday times. Hard work. Hard work and a lot of travel, but they've got actually two firsts. Last year they were the very first European ju junior, junior, I was going to say youth orchestra to go and play in America. And this year they're actually going to Russia. Come back though, won't you? <laughs> now, even if you're not a jazz fan, I'm sure you'll recognize this next piece of music. It's the Largo from Dvorak's New World Symphony, and you may associate it with bread. most of the jazz versions you could hear of the New World Symphony. Thanks very much, Bill, and all the lads and lassies for coming in. It's a very special day today for the National Youth Jazz Orchestra because this album is released today. Their new album is called In Camera, and it's dedicated to Camera, the campaign for real ale. And we wish them a lot of luck with that. <laughs> 